What's going on guys, welcome back. Uh, I feel like it's been forever, but I'm finally feeling 100%. I was sick for like a week straight, couldn't get out of bed, couldn't do anything. And then from there, we moved right into our opening week at the resort I work at. So yeah, I've just been mega busy, mega slammed. But I am ready to get back out there. So with that out of the way, I think I'd like to mention, I got a new pair of snowboard boots as well. <laughs> if you saw my gear review video, you know I have these DC Control Boa snowboard boots? Yeah. I started off that video by saying I really don't know much yet. Uh, I'm still new into the snowboarding game. And that definitely reflected on my snowboard boot selection because I had these for over a year. Um, and they, they, you know, they, they served me well, at least the first year for sure. But then I started having issues when I was out there riding. I noticed like I would lean into my toe side edge, but it would take way too long to engage um, the actual edge piece. And the reason being I figured out is these are just like worn to crap. Like look at this, look at that. I'm not pushing that hard, like that's crazy. I had no, it was really, it, it was really starting to affect my progression, which is what I'm trying to do this year, right? So. I went ahead, stepped my game up, bought a new pair of boots. Um, so I went, I, I went to an actual snowboard shop this time uh, with people who work there who know what they're talking about. I got to try on various different boots and I ended up choosing the K2 Masis boots. Uh, mostly because of the flex, uh, they're way stiffer, like, again, comparatively. You got that compared to this. And I'm pushing way harder than I was than I was with those boots. So now I have way more control on my snowboard, which is fantastic. I didn't even know what I was missing. Sometimes you just don't know until you know. You know? <coughs> Not 100% sure what I'm gonna do today. Um, it's between going to Granby Ranch um, and riding for a couple hours or I'm thinking about heading down the road and checking out the skate park down the street, see if there's enough uh, snow accumulation yet to be able to have any fun there on the snowboard, which that'd be pretty sweet. Regardless, if I can't do that today, that's gonna be a future video. Anywho, it seems talking in front of a camera is getting easier, guys, so that is a positive. Man, at first it was brutal. It's still not great, I'll be honest with you. It still feels a bit uncomfortable, but um, we're getting there. And you can only do it by doing it. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? You can only improve by doing. Watch out, River. What are you doing? Oh, and two more things I wanted to mention. Uh, we hit our first 100 subscribers. A baby milestone hit, 100 subscribers. But also, I had a uh, supplement company reach out to me and they want to send me some product to give it a shot, leave a little bit of a review, so that'll be coming in the pipeline as well. Alrighty then, enough chit-chatting. Let's get ready for the day. Bro, I'm trying to stretch, bro. Jeez, leave me alone. Alright, I think I got everything. I am doubled up on jackets today because it is extra cold outside. Man, this is the hardest part about leaving. This dude wants to go with me everywhere I go. I'm sorry, bubs. <laughs> See you later, dude. Flock out of here. Bruh, why is there so many cars right now? I'm going, cuz. Shut up. 
There she is. Hello, Grammy Ranch. You. We have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. In case you guys haven't figured it out yet, the hat I'm always wearing, Grammy Ranch, baby. All right, listen, the first thing I'm gonna say is this. If you are looking for some prime ski snowboard real estate, I mean, look at this. No line, no line. I mean, come on guys, this is how it looks for the first two, two and a half weeks at the beginning of the season, every year at Grammy Ranch. I mean, granted you're not getting, you know, long 10 minute ski runs, but you're getting ride down, ride up immediately. Zero wait time. What up, guy? Good morning. Good morning. You're making a cameo appearance today. <laughs> What's up? What up? What up, G? What up, Corey? What up, so some of you guys were wondering where we work and how we met. This is it. The Grinch, baby. Me and Tyler, we yes, both sir. work at Grammy Ranch, baby. Yes, sir. All right, we got to hit a warm-up run. Quick draw warm-up. Yeah, you weren't lying. It's it's coldy locks out here. Oh yeah, wait till you get going, bro. <laughs> yeah, nice breeze. I've convinced Tyler to take a ride break with me. What up, Robert? He actually looks kind of easy. Get, get in here. We got some ski patrol action. This is our 100 subscriber right here. Woo! Is it? Yup. Yeah. Hey, hey, let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Parla. This guy's got the arm steez. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Dang, bro, it's chilly up here. I did. I'm telling you, once you get going down, Sheesh. bro, your face. Yesterday, not yesterday, the day before, um, going down high roller towards kicking horse, yeah. that whole left side, powder. it was amazing. I know. I know, dude. And I was gonna come out here and ride, and I didn't, and I should have, and I just messed up, dude. Yeah, I was wondering. I looked at your board, me and Victor. I'm like, he said he was gonna come today. He, he never came. I know. I should have. It's all right. It's all good. Yeah, we'll get better days, honestly. Took Tommy down Easy Money yesterday. Yeah. He's ripping. Dude looks like a snowboarder now. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's going to steamboat today before I've even gone. Say what? Like what, right? Bruh, my man's got work to do. So it's just me on this one. It's all right. My first run, I always self-record anyway. All right. My first lap, gonna be down Easy Money. It's probably our uh, fastest run on the East Mountain. Easy money, baby. Beautiful. Look at this. See what I'm saying? Look at this. Straight down, straight up. Grammy Ranch, first two weeks of the season. Let's go. If you were here last year, you might remember the hand scanning. As you can see, we now have the new RFID system, which is fantastic. That was a cold ride, Mythos. Cold ride. Yeah, you know, I wonder how long that run was. I've never actually timed it before, but it's basically straight down from the top, right underneath the uh, chairlift, so. It's a nice little beeline to the bottom. At some point today, I'm thinking about checking out the terrain park. It's only halfway done, um, but at least we got a little something something going on. As you can see over there, that would be our West Mountain. Currently not yet open. Uh, we're trying to get it open by Christmas. Hopefully that'd be great. And I might have to show you guys the view of the Continental Divide from the top of our East Mountain as well. It's gorgeous. I think I'll do that right now, actually. So yeah, when you come off the top of the Quick Draw Express, at the top of the East Mountain, you basically just walk straight back. There's a little path right here through the trees, directly in front of the Quick Draw. 
And this will take you to one of the best views in Granby. Sadly, it looks like it's snowing over the divide. So you can't really see it today, but nevertheless, still a beautiful view. And actually this is part of our wedding venue. So if you want a gorgeous mountain view for your wedding in the winter, in the summer, hit up Grammy Ranch. Oh, it's out today. Oh, Jake yeah, Owen's making it. a cameo appearance. Oh, Say what's yeah, up absolutely. to the camera, dog. Say what's up. What's up, what's up, we out here, Grammy. <laughs> Nice little cruise we just did down the mountain there. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. My toes, bro. Yeah? Cold, cold? Cold, cold. It's just my fingers, dude. These boots are pretty good on the warm. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah, it's actually not easy getting uh getting footage when you don't have people to people follow. People ride you. with, right? <laughs> it's a little different. You need that long pole, the long stick. Yeah, yep. I, I was looking in it, looking into it. Um it's only like 40 or 50 bucks. Yeah, no, for a good it can't one. Be. So Easy, I'll have to get that for, for sure. sure. And then a helmet mount would be sweet too for some yeah, POV definitely. footage. I can't wait till my sandbox helmet comes for me. Yeah, I bro. I just need to get rid of this helmet. <laughs> this helmet is so bad. Dude. He's had it that is. looks like for a hot minute, yeah, bro. Things so bad. <laughs> really I really want to dial in that Nolly tail press. For sure. Is it recording? Is it recording? This ramp is beautiful, Lucas. Huh? This ramp is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Buen trabajo, my friend. Gracias. <laughs> As you can see, this is our beginner lift. It's called the Milestone. And if there's anything I've learned so far in snowboarding progression, it is that the ability, the ability to ride switch seems to be crucial. If you're looking to progress in any sort of park action or, or learning tricks definitely gonna have to dial in how to ride switch which I do not have in my repertoire as of yet so this right here this lift this little hill perfect for practicing switch hey don't laugh at me out here bro I'm trying I'm gonna try to learn switch so if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing that's because I don't know what I'm doing I don't care what anybody tells you, riding backwards is not easy. Do a little leaf action. Yeah, see, I can't, like... There we go, there we go. Back to the heel side. Okay. Nope. 
No, no. You gotta get that front foot. Uh, for some reason, going from toe side back to heel side on switch riding, I just, my brain can't figure it out. But normal, hey, no problem, hey. Just ran into a David. David might be making a cameo appearance today. You can remember David from uh, my first or second video who was wearing shorts all day like a maniac. And look at this. You might have been thinking there's no lines just because I got here early in the morning, but no. A couple hours into the day, it's about 12 o'clock almost now, and there's still practically nobody here. Get out here and you got this whole mountain to yourself. I mean, come on. I'm hoping when I get up to the top here, David waited for me and I can get a nice little clippy. Get a nice little skier clippy. David's a shredder. What up, David? Yeah. How you doing, my guy? Good, sir. Doing pretty good, man. We're gonna get a little David out. <laughs> what was that? This is a nice little line, sir. We, we may do with what we have, all right? That's right. We may do with what we have. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice to get out. For real, though. It's good to know. Now we have everyday access, you know what I mean? Yeah. We don't have to wait till the weekend. I'd like to go somewhere next Wednesday. I don't know where yet. I haven't asked anybody or I'm thought good. about it, but. Did you plan? Yeah, yeah. Sue's getting the snow. I went to. Went to the boat on Tuesday and that was sick. Went to Steamboat? Nice. Yeah, I, I still have yet to be there ever. Dumped so. on, man. Yeah? They had 15 inches mid mountain. Wow, dude. 11 at the base. Every time I hear someone mention Steamboat, they mention the powder along with it. Like, yeah. it's like it was, they go hand in hand. It's just like you couldn't see for shit. <laughs> it was like still storming. Yeah, you had the low light lenses, you still couldn't see or? Just got these. Yeah? Oh, you just got them. How are they treating you? Yeah. Nice. Good? Yeah, powder. big I mean, difference? Even like, you know. I feel like you know with good goggles on a low light day, you're still not going to see everything. No, it's not perfect, yeah. no matter what. You right. just, slight improvements. Yeah. It's the best you can do. Yeah, I got these ones, um, they have like their Oakley Prism Tech on them, so like it, it actually shifts the contrast a bit. But again, it's not perfect. Right. But just that little adjustment seems to make a, a pretty big difference. Kicking horse lift. If you own a condo or some vacation rental over here or something, this is for you. Dang, bro, I got a headache. Maybe I need to drink some water. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> it's usually the water. For me. Time for some H2O. Are there electrolytes in, in regular old water? Or is that why you gotta buy like Gatorade and crap? I mean, you can buy, you know, like electrolyte packets. That's what I have, like, uh. I've never tried them. There's this company that I bought from called True Wild. It's like T-R-U Wild. And they uh, they have like powders like that, but they have 
like a hydrate one yeah. where it's just electrolytes and things it's and like double your hydration exactly yeah they have that they have like an energy one like a, it's, it's it's like a pre-workout but it's supposed to last all day because it's made so it's made the company designed them their products to be for people who do endurance based based right. sports like Kevin, Kevin hiking skiing freaking you know all those like right. hour couple hour long events right. you so know you going. yeah so they have like a pre-workout but it's built for endurance whereas like a pre-workout for the gym like hits you hard for like 90 minutes and then right. that's it so that works really well then they also have like recovery powders they have like a a ginger turmeric um yep mix of some sort that helps with like muscle recovery and joint pain and stuff damn i am i'm, I'm putting on a commercial for them right now they should <laughs> right? send me some free product let me get a pole Ugh. what a friend that's why you need to ride with a skier <laughs> we're almost there all right give me a slingshot are you heading out after this yeah yeah Man, David's got to get back to work. Break time over. Get one more of me and get one of Tyler on his little lunchy break. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My toesies are getting cold. Toesies. Dude, it's almost Christmas. It's, it's almost crazy Christmas, to think bro. About. Yeah. Like a week away. Literally, dude. crazy to think about. Like, doesn't even feel like it. Doesn't feel like it. Not at all. Cause every day is Christmas for us. Oh yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. You get to hit this mountain every day. Yeah, if you're not outside, like, where are you? Where dude? are you? Seriously, like, what are you doing? <laughs> you're not on a board or skis. Sheesh. Sheesh. You tripping. Ready, bud. Yes sir! Yes sir! Adventurer! <laughs> oh, I slowed down. Attaboy, Trey. Trey's getting it, dude. I'm so proud of this dude. He's getting it. Let me catch up a little bit. Macy making her appearance for the first time. <laughs> Got a Mr. Tyski on his lunch uh -oh. break. Ooh. Uh oh. Been waiting for this all day. Gravy Ranch Lifties out here killing it per usual. Yeah, bro, get fired up. Listen to the right music. I'm ready. My man's got one shot. It's his lunch break. He's gonna <laughs> come out clip. here on a full one send. Clip. I'll do a front side Miller flip. It'll look sick. Yeah. A little hand drag action. Yeah, it'll look nice. I think it is a Miller flip. We're about to find out. I think. The comment section will let us know. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just ready to shred, bro. Shred skis. Yeah, I was gonna come out here yesterday so that me and Victor could get some laps in. Dude, yesterday was brutal. Yeah? It was worse than, the, it was just this cold and it was windy. Oh, okay. And the wind kind of killed it all, man. It was pushing snow everywhere. Oh, like nah. all the powder we had, like was just gone in like an hour. Right. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I'm, never mind, man. I'm glad I didn't show yeah, no, up yesterday. I'm glad you didn't come out here either. Today's you the day. Been, you would have been dying, bro. It was cold. I wouldn't have made it to lunch. It was a cold day. It would have been like three laps. I'm out. Yeah. You, you.
Oh, he's still rolling. Look at him. What kind of run is this, bro? Oh my god. Oh. 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 Am I still alive? Bro, we both just had two of the biggest slams we've ever had in the same run. It actually didn't hurt as bad as it looked. No, Me too. Thank God for sandbox, bro. Oh my God. This run is stupid. Yeah. No. <laughs> there goes another one. What is going on? Oh, I'm so glad to be back down here. Break. We need a break. I'm done for the day. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's your grand finale. Yeah. That was an interesting way to end the day. But hey, that's the nature of the beast. You can't expect to come into this snowboarding gang and get out of it without some bumps and bruises. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Granby Ranch. It's been wonderful, as usual. Seriously, though, Granby Ranch is... One of those little hidden gems in Colorado. Oh yeah. What a day, yeah. What a day. Man, I am glad that I stretched and had a good breakfast this morning. Cause that slam any other day would have took me out. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my head is pounding right now. I low key wish the camera was on me when I caught that edge, but at least you got to see the camera flying through the air. Real quick guys, I just wanted to show you this skate park I was talking about earlier today. See right now, I can't do a whole lot, but um, uh, the snow plows generally will plow this entire road and they'll leave giant snow piles in here. So I'm looking forward to at some point, maybe cutting into a pile right here or up here being able to hit this rail a little bit this winter that's an idea so that's a that's a video idea for a future video keep an eye out for that we need way more snow though this is not nearly enough all right ladies and gentlemen that is it for the day hope you enjoyed it hope you had a good time i know i did like and subscribe if you have not already and i look forward to bringing you more snowboarding content if you guys think of anything you want to see you want to see me do let me know. Drop it in the comments. Hit me up. Peace.